Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here today, like always. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a weekly reset. So I have been gone all weekend. I've been dog sitting and I stayed with my mammal the other night. So it's literally been like four days since I've been home. And I just need to reset this whole house. There is a lot of laundry I need to do since I've been gone. And yeah, we just have a lot to get done. And then I have to go watch the kids today like around noon so we're just gonna see what all we can get done before I go watch them and I always love these I love and hate Mondays because it's like I literally have to hit the ground running no matter what but then I always feel so much better when I get home at night because the whole house is clean the laundry is done and it's just a perfect way for me to start the week so if you don't know I film these on Mondays so I film these on Mondays and then I post them on Thursday but I always do my weekly reset on Monday it's just the way that it works out and it's just like it makes the week so much better. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you get motivation to get stuff done around your house. But we are gonna get right into the video. All right, so I just came in here to wipe down the bathroom. I don't know about y'all, but my house gets so dusty, like within the week. And we have Bible study and stuff, so people use this guest bathroom. And I just wanna make sure that I keep up with it because before I definitely neglected it. And also when my nephews come over for like a haircut, they'll rinse their hair out in the sink and the water like splashes up on the glass and I never even realized it till today I was like I have got to get in here and clean this glass so that's what I'm doing here and really just tidying up all around the house today I moved this candle in here because when I came in my house after being gone all weekend, there was like a weird smell. So I was like, I'm gonna light my favorite candle. It's the Falling Leaves from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. It smells amazing. So I lit that and it just really made it smell like home again in here. definitely need to wash these they get dirty so easy so I'm gonna just throw them in with a couple of towels and get these nice and clean again because the washing machine cleans them so well All 
All right, so it kind of took me a while to come up with a topic this week because I was like, anxiety was really such an easy topic for me to touch on. But today I want to talk about um, finding joy. For some reason, when I was just thinking about what I was going to talk about in this video, the first thing that popped in my mind was joy and finding joy in the hard times. And there's so many places in the Bible that talk about that. So I just wanted to share them with you today. All right, first I want to read from James 1, 2 through 5. It says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. And really when I think about joy and trial and tribulations that we will all go through, it reminds me of this verse in John, we're at John 16, 33, and it says, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So there's really nothing that's going to go on that is going to surprise God. He knows absolutely everything that's going to happen. He knows who is going to be president in a couple months. He knows literally everything. He knows how many views I'm going to get on this video. He knows how much money I'm going to make this month, how much money I'm going to make next month. He knows how much money I'm going to make this time next year. Like he absolutely knows everything and nothing can surprise him. And with that, God is always, always working and even the little things that you don't see. So when you are having a trial and tribulation, you have to try to be reminded that God is in control of it. Thankfully, it's not us because we are totally out of control. So thankfully, we are not in control when it comes to those times. So it's just so peaceful um, to know that someone else is in charge of it. And it's not us because we know how terrible we would handle things if we were in control. One of my favorite verses recently is Romans 8 28 and it says, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. So I love this because it reminds you that even with the trials, all things work together for good. So everything's working together for a purpose. And I feel this a lot in my testimony where I went through something that was really hard and I couldn't see the bigger picture. But now that I do, I realize that that is true. Like everything works together for good. Every little thing had to happen to me to be at this place of peace that I am now. And I am so thankful for that and so thankful for God's grace. So Romans 8.28 really does comfort me. And the last one is Colossians 1.17. It says, And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. So notice the word all, literally all things. I just find so much comfort in that, and I hope that you do too. And I hope that whatever you're going through, you can try to find joy, knowing that God is in control and that everything is going to work together for good.
Okay, sorry, the washing machine's still going, but I'm going to pack my bag for work. So this is normally the bag I take with me to watch the kids. And I just have all kinds of stuff in here, like plastic spoons and snacks. I really need to refill my little treats for them because that just like really keeps us going in the day and they look forward to it. I should probably go to Publix before I even go there because we're pretty much out of everything. And then I just have like hair bows and sunscreen and stuff because they have a pool um and then this this bag i took with me to when i was dog sitting this weekend and i probably need to refill it i just keep like emergent like toothbrush lotion like makeup wipes and stuff and i normally take this bag with me just in case like i need to go somewhere or something after um that way I can, you know, brush my teeth or whatever. I just like to have this with me. And I like to put shampoo and stuff in here too. So I need to probably refill this. The other thing I've started taking with me is this Bible word search. I got this off of Amazon and I really love it because I like doing word searches. Sometimes it's just like rather than scrolling on my phone. And it kind of helps me learn too because it's like daughters in the Bible. And then it shows you like the daughters of the people and it's like oh you know stuff you never even knew so like kings in the old testament who married who so it's kind of like you're learning while you're doing it which i like rather than just like a mindless word search so i like to take this with me just in case like the kids are settled and i you know find myself scrolling on my phone i'd rather pull this out and do this so i'll put this in my bag
All right, I've changed my clothes. I'm about to leave, but before I leave, I kind of want to end this video with scripture. So I'm going to share some scripture that stood out to me this week. And I'm going to try to end the videos like this because I never really have a good ending for my videos. It's always just kind of like fade out, you know, like I'll even write that in my notes because I'm just like, okay, fold laundry, then what, you know? So this might be my ending to the videos. I'm going to be reading from my Bible and I'm going to read um, a verse that stood out to me this week and yeah just want to share it with y'all so okay we got romans 6 21 through 23 therefore what benefit were you then deriving from the things which you are now ashamed for the outcome of those things is death but now having been freed from sin and enslaved to god you derive your benefit resulting in sanctification and the outcome eternal life for the wages of sin is death but the free gift of god is eternal life in christ jesus our lord just wanted to share some good news with y'all um that's it yeah but yeah i've heard the verse for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life i've heard that a million times but i've never heard it like heard it and listened till this past week and i was like oh yeah oh i just wanted to share that with y'all just as like a little note of encouragement um, I hope you guys have a great weekend and thank you so much for being here. Um, next Tuesday, I'm not going to have an upload. I will upload next Thursday. I'm just skipping Tuesday because I don't really know what to post. I'm done with the fall content. So um, we're going to be moving into Christmas soon, but not next week. <laughs> so next week will be um, just a weekly reset on Thursday. So I'm really excited for that and I will see you guys then. I hope you enjoyed this video, but I will see you guys next time.